Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Spider-Man Miles Morales video. And today, what I got for you guys here is some exciting news. We have our official first look at the box art for Spider-Man Miles Morales when it's going to hit store shelves later this year. Now, before we get into everything, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if at any point you enjoy this video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. So if you enjoy the video at any point, leaving a like rating would be awesome. And if you're new here, well, I'm going to be covering the latest and greatest in Spider-Man Miles Morales. Morales, including news, updates, trailers, reactions, the whole nine yards. So if you'd like to, you can subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be immediately notified when a video goes live. And with all that said, well, let's jump into this. So seemingly out of nowhere, a PlayStation blog post was put up today and we got our first look at the box art for Spider-Man Miles Morales, which also gives us a brand new look at the character. And oh my goodness, it looks so clean. So here's what the PlayStation blog post itself said. A quick update for our fans. Here's a first look at the box art for the PS5 game you'll be seeing on store shelves this holiday starring Marvel superhero Miles Morales. And attached is the images that you're going to be seeing on screen and you see there that is what the PS5 box art is going to look like and I gotta say I really do love it. They're really leaning into that white and black aesthetic rather than the other way around. I know some people have mixed feelings on that but for me I kind of like it. The blue trimming does look a little weird with the white but overall it's really cool and just speaking in general on the Miles Morales box art man the artwork is so good. The pose is great. The costume is just so damn good. I love that he's got the venom strike going on there with the other hand. Everything about it, I love it. I also really appreciate too that Insomniac decided to stick with kind of the simplistic design that they went with similar to what they did with the Spider-Man PS4 box art. It just allows the character to pop more. You know, with the Spider-Man PS4 box art, we just got Spidey on there with the red background and here now we have Miles Morales with that sort of darker blue or black background with Miles right there front and center. Although I'm sure that there are going to be a lot of people out there who maybe want to save the money and get the all digital version of the PS5, this is one of those box arts that you just kind of have to own. I'm also really hopeful that we're going to be getting some sort of collector's edition. You know, I want to see what like a steel book would look like for Spider-Man Miles Morales and in general just to get some sort of collector's item out of this game. But I guess that's something we're just going to have to wait and see if it ends up happening. But overall, I really got to give it up to Insomniac and PlayStation for what they've been doing with Spider-Man Miles Morales, especially considering that they revealed it and it's coming out this year. They have not been holding out on news and they've been very consistently updating us about this game ever since it was revealed last month. Now, of course, we just got to hope that whether it's Comic-Con at home or a brand new PlayStation stay to play, whatever it may be, that we just get some gameplay very soon. I want to see some free Roman. I want to see Miles Morales swinging around the snowy New York, all that fun stuff. I hope we get that really soon. A special shout out to at no person knows on Twitter as they tweeted me the fact that there is going to be something Spider-Man Miles Morales confirmed to be at Comic-Con at home. However, it looks like the panel itself is going to be about what it's like for writing for video games and not specifically about giving us new gameplay from Spider-Man Miles Morales as the writer for the game is going to be attending the panel. But who knows? Fingers crossed that this is a sign that we're going to be getting something for Spider-Man Miles Morales at a Comic-Con later this month. And with all that said, I now want to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about the official box art for Spider-Man Miles Morales? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Sound off in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.